Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and you are the ye to my ha. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm excited because I have another Music Man guitar to demo. It is the Cutlass HT. It is uh, was just announced the other day. Um, I've had it for a little bit longer, and just like most Music Man guitars, the craftsmanship is pretty incredible on this. But let's talk about what makes this guitar different um, than some other guitars and what makes it different from other cutlasses. Uh, you'll see it has three single coil pickups and the HT and Cutlass HT stands for heat treated. So let's, uh, let me read a little bit about these pickups for you. The bridge pickup has been wound with plain enamel magnet wire providing a strong, powerful tone, which I can agree with. The neck and the middle have been a bit underwound. Um, for a more traditional voice. As far as what kind of tones you can get in this, I've been playing a lot of country because I feel like it's very quacky. I can also go into my jazz stuff. So I feel like it's a really versatile, well-voiced instrument. Um, and it has a little kind of a fun trick. That's a powerful boost when you tap tap. It's not a push pull, it's a push push. Uh, the volume knob. It's pretty. It's a pretty significant boost. I don't have the exact number handy, but I'll put it in some text right there. <laughs> Magic of editing. Um, so yeah, uh, it has many of the standard specs of the original Cutlass, uh, alder body, roasted figured maple neck, 22 frets, which I, I love. I'm never gonna go. All the, I'm not gonna go all the way up there in this demo for sure. Uh, Schaller locking tuners. Um, and a Music Man Vintage Tremolo, which I'm not going to use. So I'm, I'm not, a, not a whammy bar kind of guy. But let's get into it. I'm going to go through clean sounds, boosted and unboosted, through my Benson Monarch Reverb. I'm touching some little guitar pick holder. Um, so I'm playing through that in SM57. And I will play through some gain settings on the uh, Chase Bliss Benson uh, preamp pedal from the Automatone series, just so we can get a bunch of different kind of gain sounds uh, toward the end of the video. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm going to start with the bridge pickup, um, just because I feel like it. So I'll do some chords, I'll do some kind of single note stuff. I'll just stop talking, just do it. Let's uh, hear that with the boost. It's quite loud. You can really hear how that was driving the Benson, which is like at one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the middle and bridge position, and we're gonna hear that one now without the boost. Let's hear it boosted. All right, and yeah, the boost quite loud and really I think negates the need to have a boost pedal at the top of your chain. All right, now let's go just the middle position, which I like more than a lot of middle positions I've played. I usually stay away from uh, middle positions on SSS configurations. I, I like the middle as a blend, generally speaking, to get kind of a, a humbucking experience, but um, I like the way this one sounds. I wish I'd picked a 
lick there that's a little bit easier to play. And now this is the quietest of all the pickups. I don't, I feel like they're not super duper loud, especially when I was playing it earlier, but this is the quietest. If we go, this is the bridge, I mean, sorry, this is the neck and the middle. Even if we go to the bridge and the middle, there's a little bit of hum there. Nothing here. I'm really excited about um, this position. I should probably play what we were playing before though too. All right, boosted. I'll just play the rock stuff. And it's still quiet with the boost on. That's really cool. How about it? All right, neck position. That's from Emilio Harris's version of Wayfaring Strange, and I think Willie Nelson might have played that. But let's hear something with some boost. Okay, so now we've played through everything clean. I love the variation in the tonal properties of these pickups. I especially love the underwound neck and middle position. However, that bridge is exactly what I want from like an SSS style guitar in the bridge. It's, this feels extremely versatile. If you need something completely quiet, now Ham, you have one of those positions. And I was really surprised to hear exactly how well that middle position pushed the amp when it was boosted. I thought it sounded great. Um, but I want to go through some distortion settings on this um, Benson Chase Bliss collaboration for the Automaton series. All right. So let's find a preset to start with. This one has pretty high gain. It's got some mids action, cut treble, slightly boosted bass. Let's hear it on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Let's hear that um, in the bridge middle. Middle, neck, still really, really quiet. Now we'll go to the neck. Let's go through all those boosted, starting with the neck going straight down to the bridge. I'm not gonna stop to talk.
And just to do it, let's go through that again uh, from the neck to the bridge with a fuzz setting engaged, okay? Kind of sound the same with fuzz in in my perspective. Here's another one with some fuzz settings. Kind of a gated sound. Maybe just do a little bit of funk in some capacity. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna try one more thing because I think I have space on my memory card. Try something a little bit different, boost on, just some country kind of licks maybe. playthrough of the Cutlass HT by Music Man. Uh, I would have to give it four stars out of four. Uh, personally, honestly, these guitars are, you can tell they put a lot of effort into them. They have the, those small details that make 
the difference in a guitar. And you know, they often people often say there's there are diminishing returns between like a fifteen hundred guitar and a much more expensive one. Um, you can feel the returns in this from the rolled fret edges, smooth as butter. Neck has a really nice um, pocket there. That feels really natural. Like you can actually play all the way up the fretboard if you really need to. It's been staying in tune really well. I've been playing it. I mean, I tuned it before I did this demo, but I've been playing it for a while. Hadn't had to retune in a, in a minute. Has active electronics. So uh, just a little nine volt in the back, really easy access. It looks beautiful. I mean, come on, come on. I'm not usually a burst kind of person, but I really am feeling this um, tremendously. This is the kind of guitar that you could really play for hours, it's kind of a medium weight to light weight. It's not particularly heavy. I don't think it's as lightweight as the Majesty 7 that I previously demoed. It's more in line with the Stingray. Uh, I believe the Stingray RS that I demoed, so please check out those videos. But I'm in love with this guitar, for real. Um, well, anyway, please like, comment, subscribe for more. Please consider using the affiliate links in the video description, specifically the Sweetwater one has a pretty good return for us. It costs you zero extra dollars and it's just an easy way to help the channel doing things you're probably doing anyway. So yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for understanding the yee to my ha. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.